Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. Today in this tutorial we are discussing about a pattern program that is how we can print stars in the holo equilateral triangle shape that is in this shape. So here in this tutorial first we will write the python program to print stars in the four rows. Next I will explain you how to write the general program that is how to take the input from the user and how to get the output for n number of rows ok. Ok so first we will write the python program to get this output ok it contains four rows right. So for now our output is this ok. So this is our output and here we can see stars in different row and column. So we want to print stars in different row and column. So for this we are using nested for loop that is for loop within the for loop. That's nothing but first we will write the for loop for row and within that we will write the for loop for column. As I said outer for loop will be the for loop for row. Inside that we will write the for loop for column. That's because here we will print star like this at row 1 we will check for column 1, column 2, column 3, column 4, column 5, column 6, column 7. After printing row 1 we will go to the row 2 and we will check for column 1, column 2, column 3, column 4, column 5, column 6, column 7. Okay. So after printing row 2 we will go for the row 3. So first we need to write the for loop for row. Inside that we need to write the for loop for column. Okay. So here in the python file first thing is we need to write the for loop for row. So for row in range. Ok here row is my variable name if you want you can change the variable name and here I am using range function and in the range function I need to mention how many rows I want in my output. As I said here we are writing the python program to get pattern in the four number of rows that is this output so here number of rows is four so row start from one two three four so i want four number of rows so here i need to mention range as one to five because as we know in the range function this value is excluded so now it will give output as one two three four so Inside this I need to take the for loop for column. So this is the inner for loop and here I will use range function and this is my variable name call short form for column. Ok. If you want you can change the variable name and in the range function I need to mention how many columns I want in my output. So for that we need to see the output. Ok. When Row is 4, we want 7 column right, here we can see. So this is the output for 4 row and here we can see number of columns needed are 7. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. So here I need to mention the range as 1 to 8 right, because here 8 is excluded. So this function will give output as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Alright, so now inside this I need to take if else conditional statement. It's because we want to print stars in particular pattern. Okay, for that we need condition. That's why here we are using if else conditional statement. And here after if keyword I need to mention the condition that is in which row and column you want to print star. Okay, so Ok first here we can see at row 4 I want to print star right here this is the row 4 and I want star here ok in each column I want star. So my first condition will be I will check whether row is equal to equal to 4 ok this is my first condition. Next I will use logical or operator because to print star there are different condition and if any one of this condition is true I want to print star that's why here we use logical or operator. Alright. Next here we can see we want to print these stars right. Right. That is this star at column 4 and row 1. This is at column 3 and row 2. This is at column 2 and row 3. 
this star is already printed if you want you can again write the condition for this it won't affect the output okay so now to print this star i want column 4 and row 1 right so what i'll do is i'll add row plus column value okay okay so here first at row 1 column 4 i want to print star so total is 5 okay next here column 3 row 2 okay so when row is 2 and column is 3 i want to print star total is 5 again here we can see this is column 2 and row 3 to print this star we want row 3 column 2 that is nothing but 3 plus 2 that is 5 so here we can see to print the star one thing is common that is when we add row and column the total is 5 okay so here you can see this is column 4 row 1 that is 4 plus 1 5 this is column 3 and row 2 that is 5 and here we can see column 2 row 3 that is 3 plus 2 again 5 so when row plus column is equal to equal to 5 i want to print star okay so this is my next condition so here i'll check when i'll add row and column if the sum is 5 then i want to print star in that place and uh, this method that is adding row value and column value was suggested by someone i forgot name this method is very easy compared to that ij method previously in pattern program we used two variables i and j and we initialized initial row and column value okay compared to that method this method is very easy okay or okay I need to take another condition so I'll take logical or here okay next here we want to print these stars right here okay so to print this star we are doing the same thing but here we are not adding row and column value we are subtracting row value from the column value that is here to print this star we can see this is at column 5 and row 2 okay so what i'll do is i'll subtract column value so what i'll do is here to print this star this is at column 5 and row 2 so answer is 3 next to print this star this is at column 6 and row 3 so this is 6 minus 3 again the answer is 3 again if you want to print this star here we can see this is at row 4 and column 7 that is 7 minus 4 again the answer is 3 that means when column minus row value is 3 i want to print star okay so my next condition will be i'll subtract row from column that is column minus row is equal to equal to 3 if it is true then i want to print star okay these are my three conditions first condition is to print these stars second one is to print these stars and next one is to print this star okay so now if any one of this condition is true i want to print star so here i'll use print function and here i'll print star and here end is equal to empty string okay here in the print function by default end value will be slash n but here i don't want new line so here i'm changing the end value okay if i didn't write this it will print stars in the single line i don't want that that's why here i change the end value okay next if this condition become false then i want to print space so here i'll use end is equal to space here if this condition become false then control goes to else part and it will print space here i wrote end equal to space because after printing space i want control to be in the same line okay here also i wrote end is equal to empty string because the same reason i want to keep the control in the same line all right here in some places we can see the space right and to print this space we are using this else part okay next inside the first for loop i'll use print function this is for new line okay here 
in this for loop that is the for loop for row i am using this print function because after each row i want new line in my output after printing one row okay after printing row one i want to go to the next line to print stars in the next row okay so after each row i want new line that's why here i am using this print function now we are done with the code so we need to save this and run this so this is uh, the output with four row okay okay next if you want to take the input from the user then how to write this program right and we want to write a general program which can give output for any number of rows okay so for that we need to do some changes in this program first thing is we need to ask the user to enter the input right so we need to use the input function so in the first line i need to take one variable which will hold the user entered input next i'll use input function to take input from the user and here i'll write the message okay this message will display on the output screen and next in the python this input function by default take input as the string value right but here we don't want that we want integer input that's why here i need to change input to integer so here i'll use int function okay so this is the first step first we need to ask the user to enter the number of rows right and we'll store that input in the variable n next we need to write the for loop for row okay and here we need to change the range because now we are writing the python program to print n rows right we want n rows in our output so here when n value was 4 okay this was the range that is 1 to 5 so while writing generally we can write this as 1 to n plus 1 right here we can write 5 as 4 plus 1 right so generally 1 to 5 can be written as 1 to n plus 1 okay so here first i need to change this range the start is same that is 1 we want to start row from 1 here end is till n plus 1 if you enter n value as 4 here so range will become 1 to 4 plus 1 1 to 5 so it will give output as 1 2 3 4 right so here row range will be from 1 to n plus 1 next inside that we are writing the for loop for column here we need to write the range okay so we need to change the range start is same that is we want to start column from 1 so this is same we need to change the end value so here here we wrote the range as 1 to 8 when n equal to 4 so we can write like this right it, this we can write this as 2 into 4 right 2 into 4 is 8 here 4 is the number of rows so this is the range for when n value is 4 then we can write this as 2 into n right so we can write the column range as 1 to 2 into n suppose if n value is 4 we will get 1 to 8 right so here range will be from 1 to 2 multiply n okay so when n value is 4 it will be range will be from 1 to 8 right so next here in the if condition so here we wrote row is equal to 4 i want to print star that is nothing but here we can see at last row we want to print star right that is if the n value is 4 we want to print star at fourth row if the n value is 5 we want to print star at fifth row right so here i'll change this as n when the row value is n i want to print star okay okay and next here we can see row plus column is equal to equal to 5 okay here this is the condition when n value is equal to 4 okay when n value is equal to 4 when row plus column is equal to 5 or we can say 4 plus 1 
ஐ வாண்ட் டு பிரிண்ட் ஸ்டார் ஸோ வி கேன் ரைட் ஜென்ரலி வி கேன் ரைட் லைக் திஸ் என் ப்ளஸ் ஒன் வென் ரோ ப்ளஸ் காலம் இஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு ஈக்குவல் டு என் ப்ளஸ் ஒன் ஐ வாண்ட் டு பிரிண்ட் ஸ்டார் பிகாஸ் வென் ரோ ப்ளஸ் காலம் இஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு ஈக்குவல் டு ஃபைவ் திஸ் இஸ் தி கண்டிஷன் வென் என் வேல்யூ இஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு ஃபோர் ஓகே ஸோ ஃபைவ் கேன் பி ரிட்டர்ன் ஆஸ் ஃபோர் ப்ளஸ் ஒன் ஸோ ஜென்ரலி வி கேன் ரைட் லைக் திஸ் என் ப்ளஸ் ஒன் ரைட் ஸோ ஹியர் என் ப்ளஸ் ஒன் ஹியர் ஆல்சோ சேம் so this is 3 when the when the input is 4 okay so when the input is n we need to write this as n minus 1 okay next rest thing is same okay so i need to save this and run this so now it will ask enter the number of rows i'll enter 6 and here we can see the output right now i'll enter as 5 and here we can see the output 1 2 3 4 5 rows and here we can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 at the last row we can see the nine star okay now we are done with this pattern now we'll see the this pattern okay so if you enter number of rows as 4 it will give four rows as well as it will give four star at the last row okay so to get this output we need to do few changes in our output that is okay so we need to take one variable called k and i need i'll initialize the value 2 to this variable it's because here we can see okay so for the next out we don't want star at column 2 column 4 column 6 that is even number of column right at row 4 and even number of columns i don't want star okay that's why so here i need to take one variable called k and i'll initialize that to 2 next here i'll remove this condition here after this i'll take elif condition else if and here when row is n when the row value is n i'll include one condition that is column should not be equal to k okay initially k value is 2 that is nothing but when row value is equal to n column should not be equal to 2 this is my first condition so if it is true then i want to print star and is equal to empty string next okay so this means it won't print star here in this place at row 4 column 2 it won't print the star and next for this so here also we don't want star right that's why here i'll increment k value by 2 so k is equal to k plus 2 so first it will not print star at column 2 next 2 plus 2 so k value become 4 so it won't print the star at column 4 next it won't print star at column 6 so when the row value is n at that time it won't print star at even columns that is column 2 column 4 column 6 okay that's why i need to write the condition like this if i save this and run this and here this should be here okay if it will check the this condition if any one of this is true it will print star there if this condition become false then control go to the elif part and it will check for this condition okay then if it is true then it will print star and it will execute this statement that is it will increment k by 2 okay if both this condition become false control go to the else part and it will print space so now i'll save this and run this so enter the number of rows and here i'll enter 6 and here we can see the output 1 2 3 4 5 6 and here we can see 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 okay this is my second pattern this is about how we can print stars in hollow triangle shape that's it for now thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll meet you in next class till then take care